And to close out this segment of our report, please sum up by offering some best practices for managing privileged user accounts. Sure, absolutely, Mike. I, um, you know, for us, when we work with our clients, we, we first want to help them understand what critical infrastructure is in place, what critical applications are in place. It's the first thing you really need to understand what is critical and what that means and what value is placed on that data and those applications if, if something was stolen. Uh, the next thing you need to do is really understand who has access to those systems and what policies are in place to provide that access and then also decommission that access uh, as appropriate. Um, with that, you know, understand what tools are in place today to monitor those systems. Uh, you may have tools that are very close to providing this monitoring capability, but maybe you need a little bit of help on the provisioning side. So understanding that, that the, those tools that are in place to do the monitoring, to do the provisioning is, is pretty important. Um, and then based on the gaps that are understood, it's really important to uh, evaluate those vulnerabilities what would it mean if, if they were compromised? And then from there you can determine what tools would be in place to satisfy those vulnerabilities because they're going to have a cost associated with it. And that gives you an opportunity to build that business case for, for the, the technology to put in place. And the last thing is to find a, an organization or the right resources, maybe they're internal, to help you implement that technology appropriately for your business.